What's up guys, welcome to another video. Man, this page was, this page was hard. And you're going to see what I'm talking about when I say it was hard because I had to like pause the recording uh, over and over just to figure out what kind of perspective I wanted. Man, it was hard. It was seriously hard. So you'll see what um, I'm talking about. So here I'm just fixing the the panels. Sometimes the way I ink my panels might not be exactly straight when I ink it on paper. And then when I scan it in, I can see clearly how uh, skew it is. So then I have to do what I'm doing now, which is erase those lines and uh, draw it straight all over again. But yeah, I honestly really like drawing these kind of page pages. Um, they have, well, these happy pages where all the characters are happy and smiling, you know, such, such a huge amount of positive vibes. You know, I really like uh, drawing that. I used to be heavy about the action long time ago. You know, but these days, I myself am tired of the fighting, really, you know. And it's gotten to the point where even fight scenes, I don't really like prolonging them, you know. Because they just not that important to me anymore, you know. As long as I do put the characters in a situation where they have to struggle and think, um, that that's more important. But in terms of, like prolonging the fight and making it ultra cool i mean i'll do the best that i can not that i'll slack but it's just that personally it's just not as important as it used to be anymore i i find the heartwarming emotional scenes way more important i still like very serious tense emotional uh moments and yeah, that, that won't change. Although I did say that I want this manga to be less serious, of course there are going to be serious moments. So what I'm saying is that when there are serious moments, I really try to put in a lot of effort in those serious moments, uh, those very emotional moments. I try to put a lot of uh, effort into that. So, yeah... So right now, more chibi action. Can't have a manga without chibi. Like, you seriously need some chibi action. So we finally seen Dombi after two chapters and leaving her in the hospital. And now she's at this facility. Um, Notice that I kind of changed her hair. She used to have her front uh, hair thingies like braided, but now it's not. Now it's just normal. Um, it's just easier to draw that way and it still looks like her regardless so I was like okay it's fine um, here she has her hair uh, down it's not tied up at the back so yeah since she's not fighting she's just chilling um, I decided to just um, let it flow for the time being so <sighs> Yeah, some of you might want to know as to like, what the heck is that um, diamond shape on her forehead? Because her sisters also have that diamond shape. Well, this diamond shape is actually, now this is something I made up. Um, everybody under the age of 21, um, depending, it depends if they follow the culture or not in Israel. This is not what actually happened in Israel, but it's just something I made up. If you're under the age of 21, you have to wear that um, diamond on your head that uh, you're not yet of age to get married, you know. So uh, the official marriage age is uh, 21 um, in the story. And so Eltifa is 22, I mean 24. So that's why she doesn't have the, the diamond shape thing. If they do get married, they can wear a ring 
or uh, a certain charm, but uh, usually it's a ring. So that's what the triangle on the forehead is for. Not triangle, the diamond shape is for. Yeah, once again, this page was really something else. Now, some of these videos, I know these videos might be long and all. Um, once again, if you can't bear it, it's okay. You can watch something else. Um, but once again, I'm just doing this for me, honestly. It motivates me to watch something I've done and it's pretty nice and long, you know, where I give in-depth detail of what I'm going through. It just motivates me to move forward. So now, look, I am about to add an interior found on Clip Studio because I didn't want to draw an interior. Remember I said, if you can do something good and cheat, well, do it. So there we go. I just added an interior. Um, there, that's pretty much like the hallway uh, in the uh, facility. Now here, I'm trying to add the background, but I struggled because I was like, okay, Ndombi is supposed to be sitting on her bed. You know, it just, what I was drawing here right now, it, it just didn't make sense for the wall to be that far away. You know, it, it just looked, it just didn't look right. It looked like, it looked like I, 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 I was just placing an environment, uh, a background, you know, like it was just random and not part of the scene. So it's always very important that if you're going to add a background, either don't add one or, if, or add something that's just going to fit well. Otherwise, you're going to have something looking completely random. As you see now, I'm going to try to add a window, wrong brush. Um, I'm trying to add a window oh, th there, but it wasn't what I thought it would be. See, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So I'm going to erase all of this and then try something else. I even had to go old school perspective mode, you know. I haven't done perspective in a long time. Like hitting up those perspective lines. I haven't done that in a long time. So here you go. Um, here I'm using two point perspective. I was just trying to figure out what's the best way you know to to show this particular scene and it doesn't work regardless it doesn't work having the wall over there on her left and the window there on the left it just doesn't work then I started thinking you know what I need something very simple something very very simple so you'll see what the end result became because yeesh I like spent probably 40 minutes or maybe an hour um, trying to figure this out because I was just so lost you know I was like what's the perfect um, what's the perfect background for this particular scene now of course I could have just left it uh, blank and just put some um, toning around the page at specific corners that helps if you want to be lazy you know um, you can create a mood with just that but I really wanted to add something um, I have to try and push myself you know so I can be proud of what I've done I don't want to look at a page and know that I could have really done much better but I chose not to um, but at the same time, I'll do my best at the least amount of pain as possible. So, I'm going to rub all this out because it's just not working. No matter what I try, it's not working. trying it was 
a battle. I haven't had such a battle in a long time. It was kind of, it was kind of fun, you know, struggling, wrestling, you know, trying to find the perfect um, perspective. I think maybe here I put the the vanishing points maybe too low. That's why it just wasn't working. So I'm starting again and it's the same problem. Eventually I do move the vanishing point much higher. There are perspective options in Clip Studio. I've never used it before. I suppose I'm gonna have to uh, get a watch a tutorial on how to use the perspective tools uh, in this program because without a doubt I'm sure it will save time instead of constantly drawing vanishing lines uh, for myself and I have seen that with the vanishing points using the clip studio uh, thingy you can put it like outside the page See here, I did put the vanishing line, I mean vanishing point outside the page, but of course I'm not being accurate of where it is disappearing to. So then I decided, you know what, I want to keep it this way. I'm just going to somewhat show the ceiling just a little bit. Because I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know what else to do. I was like, screw it. All I need to do is show that they are inside a room. That's, that's what's important. Because once again, this is a character driven story. Um, it's not much about world building. So if it's not much about world building, then... Just make sure that uh, the audience knows where the characters are in that specific moment. So, with the top um, top panel, we can see that it's a hallway entering a room. I'm gonna put like the room number over there, and then um, yeah, once they enter, well, you know that they're in a room. Notice that I decreased the opacity of those lines for the ceiling because I don't want it to clash with uh, don't be so I decrease the opacity but I'll get better you know I haven't done perspective in a long time so um, next time I'm put in this situation I'll do a much better job so that I know for sure that I know for sure indeed. Don't know why I really wanted to put that uh, window over there. Just, just didn't work. It just did not work, no matter what I tried. Basically where the door opens um, whether the door is a sliding door or not I didn't think about that I was just saying hey that's where the door is supposed to be and that's all everybody needs to know that door is supposed to be right there and so I didn't care about adding more detail on that or uh, thinking too much about perspective there I just saw no need to do so now I'm putting some interior decorating decoratives it's just something simple you know nothing crazy nothing whatever it's just 
It's just something simple, everybody. After all, this place should look nice, just a little bit. I mean, it is for nights, you know, so, you know, that tax money better be used right. There, I'm slightly erasing those lines to create some uh, atmospheric perspective. And here, I just want to put a frame of a painting. Once again, I'm drawing the ceiling here where the girls are jumping in the air to give Dombi a hug. Here, I, I I did a little bit better, you know, I, I did a little bit better. My goodness, I'll make sure that I understand the perspective options in this program. Uh, I don't want to make the same mistake and waste as much time as I did ever again. But, stay tuned because this one is pretty darn long.